These are placements. Oh my goodness. She kept placemats paper. from the restaurant. Why not take, you know, you paid for the meal. Why not take your placemat with you? Yeah, she's smart. Hey, now I will keep them these and ones. sell them in a junk journal lot. Not these ones, you won't. Oh, it says Merry Christmas on it. Yeah, so it's written on. Yeah, that makes it even more special. A Christmas greeting There's on more it. of them like that. That's sweet. All right, I guess you can keep that. Okay, thank you. Hello everyone, Rebecca here from Mama's Treasures. Thank you for joining us today. We're back at the old house doing some cleaning out. What do you find in there? Just old jars and what I pulled out just barely is really pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, I'm going to flip this camera around so that you can see what we found. In the back corner there, we found some really cool old roasters. Check this enamel roaster out. It's like a yellow creamy with green. It is super heavy and awesome. Let's see if it says something on the bottom. No, it doesn't, but it has like divots, like feet. That is so cool. And we found some more enamel bowls. Well, a stainless steel bowl and an enamel bowl. And some trays. This one is Saskatchewan Homecoming 1971. Pretty cool. That one's just a plastic white one. And then look at this. Uh, it's pretty light. This one is probably aluminum, this roaster. Again, super old. Oh, it has the little feet on it too. I've never seen that. Like the dents in it to make feet. Kind of cool. so I don't know if this is from a hole that they got <clears> in. <throat> in there, but there's a washer and a screw. Oh yeah, I noticed they did that one uh, in one of their They've teapots. Hmm. They tried patching it. Some more pots and pans. What is this? Ooh, this is cool. This is US made. I can tell it's because it's chunky. I'm learning my stuff, but look at the cool stripes on there. What does it say? Buffalo. Buffalo? China or something. Oh, Buffalo China Cafe. This is a restaurant wear. Made in USA. And this one I saw the other day too when we were here. A really cool old orange and black. Wouldn't that be cute for like a Halloween display? What's that? Rustless pot cleaners. There's one in there still. New one. <laughs> is there a barcode on that box? Yes. There yeah, is. there is. Okay, so probably probably 80s. What is this? Humboldt flour mill. Is this like a key holder, do you think? No, that's a cigarette, I think. Cigarette? Oh, an ashtray. Oh, yes, ashtrays. Johnson's clean floor. <laughs> and a McDonald's coffee, yes. Wizard brand glass. That paint. is so cool. I love the packaging. For brass copper, it shows your old doorknobs on there. Hmm. Maybe we should try using that to clean some brass, hey? Something's in there still. Yeah, these bottom cupboards, they're pretty nasty. nasty that's an old, that's old flooring dirty. on here. Like if you took that all out of there, it'd probably clean it up. Yeah, well, that's the thing. They've, oh, uh, it's boards. They've, they've protected the surfaces of the things in this house, so with some grunt work, we can probably... What's that? You tell me. Okay. No. Oh, are you seriously going to open it? I'm going to open it. It says A08 on it. Is that what you were thinking was apple juice? You ready? No, this, is, this isn't. This is new. Ready? Okay. It's, it is juice of something. Really? It, smell, it smells good. 
Oh yeah, it was sealed. It probably is apple juice. It smells perfectly fine. I'm not gonna drink it though. No. No, it's not fresh. It's not gonna be fresh anymore. No. This is the window, well, one of the windows that Jason patched the other day. Doesn't it look good? Love it. No more styrofoam on that one. We had a big blizzard here last week, so we came to shovel the walk. Actually, I'll show you. Show you what it looks like out here. Yeah, so we've got a whole bunch of snow and we just pushed it to the back so that we could get in. So that was one more thing off of our to-do list. And we're going to spend the night, but we're not going to stay in the camper this time. We have set up camp in the living room with... Uh, what are these? These are cots, right? Yep, they're cots. They're yeah, we cots. bought we yeah. bought some cots. You want to have a And uh, yeah, so we're gonna have a sleepover, and we're just going through some stuff here. Well, the night is still young. You and see this? oh, that's an electric frying pan. Let's plug it in and see if it works. The lid, there must be a lid for it somewhere too. It's right here. Oh, okay. It's very greasy. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, it's on. Oh, wow. Well. Let's see if the burners heat up or the elements. Burn yeah, off. you'll want it on a flat surface. Sticky. There's a the lid for it. Oh, that's hot. Cool. Could fry some eggs in there tomorrow morning. Not. So that works. I'll put it on the floor. Cool off. I can smell it. We've got our diffuser going again. It really doesn't smell bad in here. So what would this be? Hmm. The spot for the pot? I don't know. Not sure. These aren't that old, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. Those margarine containers are pretty. Oh, what is that? Flour. I think huh. that's flour. Okay. What is behind the toaster? A Mott's Clamato? Yeah. I don't think these are at all. No, I don't think so. no. <laughs> There's an empty bottle with Tylenol in there. <laughs> That's old, I guess, because yeah. there's, there's no barcode on it. Yeah, there is. Is there? Isn't it? Oh, it expires 89. Okay, well, it's kind of old. So this is not that old. Right? No. We need another garbage can. So this old poster's been around. I'm not sure if this thing works. It's this tape on it here. With old trim in it. Okay. We left after Jason got off work today. So we got here. Well, we stopped in the nearest city to the house and grabbed some supper and we went to the thrift store actually. Maybe we should show you what we bought at the thrift store. It's still in the car. Ooh, that's so old. This is a Hoover Look, she's toaster. Going totally hot. Oh my goodness. 
How do you cancel these old things? It whew, works. Is this Hoover? It is. <laughs> this is Hoover. It's actually kind of cute. So that works as well. All right. Honey, we can have toast and eggs tomorrow. Are you kidding? We'll need to go to the grocery store. There's a lot of heat coming off of there. Pyrex dish. It is Pyrex. Yeah. But it's well used. It yes. actually looks there's a. It almost like there's a, a, a hair infused or something. Ew. Oh, that's kind of gross. I her think name, we'll just toss that one. Her name's on the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you do with this stuff? Do you think a pile to throw out again? or? Do well, we... I think some of this stuff right here we will just toss. This is just old plastic yeah. containers. Yeah. And... Um, an old grater. I don't know. It might be cool in a display, but it has a name on it. It does. That maybe we'll keep. I'm sure no one would use it for food use, but displays, primitive so. displays, people kind of like that. This dish rack, I don't know. I think it just needs to go. I think so too. Yeah. Yeah, I think most of that stuff we'll just toss. Yeah, I was just looking at that. There's trim in there. There's pieces of trim with nails. They That's... didn't throw anything away. This is a Saddler made in England, but it is chipped. It is chipped and the lid is missing. There's so many of these... Oh, there's a cool box in there. This is a box. Matches? Yeah, and there's a... That is cool. That is cool. Ready Redbird Matches. Bob Harris Realty. There's one match left in there. Oh, there's mm, matches. Cool. Okay. There's lots of those plastic lids. A new one. And I don't know what they go to. Or were they, did they have a pot set that had a stainless steel and a plastic lid? I'm not sure. Kind of weird. I will put it back in there because this you want to probably keep as well, right? Yeah, even that peanut butter jar is cool. Well, it's got a handle on it. I washed out a peanut butter jar with the brand Red and White yesterday, hun. Does that say? Oh, I'm not sure. It's seven Y. I thought it was seventy one. I think it's a Y, right? December nine. Yeah. There is no. Oh, there is a barcode. Okay, never mind. Special offer, craft teddy bear. Probably eighties. That's probably eighties. I would think. But yeah, those are plastic, right? Yep. This is a. Would this be for one of these? Would that be for one of those pots? Maybe. Oh, that one does have a brown lid. Or a brown handle, I mean. Maybe it's for this one. Ha ha! I think we have a match. So, no, it's not completely plastic. But it's like a plastic coating. It's weird. Or too big. Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe. And you've got a canner. Another canner. This one looks to be in nice shape. Oh, a steamer. A steamer? Okay. Nice. So then that cupboard is empty as well. And the rest are drawers on this side of the cupboard. These uh, Taster's Choice coffee jars have some sort of a wheat in there. I'm not sure what have that is. Have you looked is. through all of these already? I've peeked. I have not looked. 
But there are so much cool. So much maybe seven. Okay. Uh, vintage linens to go through yet. And recipe books. Like, look at all that goodness. Look at this one. So pretty. Yeah, there's going to be some good stuff in here yet. store. I would love to go into that store. Um, it was an old store that was actually in this small little town. The town was more lively then than it is now. We found so many bags of uh, shopping bags and price tags from that particular store called Robinson's. Would have been a fun place to go shop at. Mm, that might be some of Oops, sorry. embroidery. First of all, what is that? Apron? It'd be a really small neck. <laughs> um, a tea towel, I guess. <laughs> yeah, a tea towel that would have been hung up. Or just linens wrapped in linens. That's an old flower bag. Oh, it is. That's cool. That is cool. They did um, old flower bags, flower sacks made awesome tea towels. My mom always did that, so that too. Is an old rookie, that one inside. Yes, that one is still intact. I think they bleached them to get the coloring out, and then they used them to embroider as tea towels because they dried so nicely, those flower bags, flower sacks. That one's a little one. No. No, the rest of these are not. There's no... Oh, this one has a logo on it. Oh, yeah. But it's been well used or, or whatever it is. Yeah, we'll have to go through this in more detail. There's lots of old towels and things, kitchen towels. But those brand new, that's cool. How much were they? Two for a dollar fifty. On sale, regular a dollar twenty nine each, I think. I might just keep those for myself. Cool. That's just some practicing how to sew. <laughs> or just patching. Okay. What's this one? It has mushrooms on it? Throw it out. Mushrooms are good. Silly, silly. Mushrooms are in right now. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Mushrooms are in the forest. Yes, they are. And they're also in people's decor. Better that than in the oh, belly. Honey, this mun might come into our kitchen. No. That's probably from the 70s, I would imagine. Ooh, another one. Oh, that's quick oats. Quick cooking oats. Two? My coffee's getting cold here. Thank you. What would that be? Is it stretchy? No. no. I was scared it was her penny oats. <laughs> well, that's why I asked if it was stretchy. It's another bag. Uh -huh. But I don't know. 
bag of bags. Did Mr. We've... Bean use pantyhose to dry his lettuce? Yes, he did. No, his socks. His... Yeah, his... I thought he dried lettuce in the one where he's having... Yeah, when he's having a sandwich on the bench. Yeah, he took off his socks and did it in a sock. Oh, in his socks. Okay, I guess he wasn't wearing <laughs> pantyhose. Still just kind of rummaging through this pile of vintage linens. And I just put some of my favorite finds up here on the oven just to show you. Of course, these I showed you already. The brand new with tags. Look at this old one. I think that's a tea towel. It's really it's probably from the first kitchen set up here which was well, like with the pink the pink carpeting and the pink dining table over there so that would have matched perfectly and these linens here too the pastels aren't they pretty and these are some handmade pot holders and this is an apron with a cute pattern on it. And then these are some hand towels. So cute. And then of course we have the quick cooking oats. I called it a flour sack before, but these are actually quick cooking oats. Little John cooking oats from Robin Hood and then this one as well has the cool Robin Hood picture on it this one is green and pink and this one is just blue wouldn't that have been fun to go get your cooking oats in these sacks Like I was mentioning, Jason and I went into the neighboring city's thrift store on our way to town here. And we only had maybe 45 minutes to browse through this awesome thrift store. So this is what we picked up in those, in those few minutes that we were able to look around. It's two stories, it's huge. And it's one of those stores where, oh, here's another room, here's another room. And maybe they'll be open, honey, I'm hoping, on the way through tomorrow that we, can, <laughs> that we can stop and pick up the stuff that we didn't get, like that vintage high chair. Where are you going to put everything? Oh, I don't know. I just love the stuffs. Okay, so this is what we did pick up. We, well, we, uh, Jason spotted these cool Coleman, um, what are these called? They're not thermoses, they're... Um, they juice pitchers? I'm not, I'm not sure, but they're in really great condition. This orange one here is the Poly Light by Coleman. And um, he did open them up and look through them. And this one was $3. And then there's this style here, also by Coleman. And this one sits on the table. And then you can like pump out your juice or water that way and this one was four dollars so we snagged those and I saw this really cute macrame lampshade we've got so many lamps from the house here that don't have lampshades and I thought that this could be put to good use on one of those and this was only a dollar someone did a beautiful job weaving that around a lampshade this I picked up because the bottom says Wedgwood, and I believe that Wedgwood is valuable. I have to look this one up, but it was in great condition, and it didn't have any chips that I can tell. There's a piece of newspaper stuff down in there, but this was 50 cents, so I picked that up. This I think I'm going to keep for myself. Look at this sweet kitty cat. It is framed so beautifully. It's uh, $4 and it, it's a plate. It's a collectible plate here. There's the plate number. It's this little, little kitty cat looking in the mirror. It's so sweet. And it's got burgundy velvet around the frame here. Needs a good cleaning, but this I think I'm gonna keep and hang in our, in our home. 
This uh, thing back here folds up. It's a wine rack. We paid $4 for it. It's a super great condition. I know there's a whole bunch of things that you can do with this besides using it for a wine rack. Our son-in-law actually cut one of these in half, like straight down, the ha like halfway here, and hung it on their walls and made two hanging racks out of it. So that was really cool for the grandkids to hang up their coats and stuff when they come in the door. But yeah, that's just one of the ideas that for that, but it folds flat and if I don't have a use for it right now, I will find a use for it some other time. Jason spotted this awesome, uh, um, I think, it's got to be vintage, uh, jewelry box. And it's like padded leather, really great detailing on it. I think it's like green, green and burgundy. And this is the hinge on it. That's the closure. It probably had a key at one point but you just move it over to open it up. A dollar for that one. And it just pops open like that to reveal the velvety cabinets. It's really pretty. This beautiful birdie here does have a giant chip out of it, but I thought if, if it was used for a planter, that would be hidden. And I love the gold accents on it, and it is marked Japan. So, um, it is old, and I, I love the glazing of things that are painted like this. The bird is yellow, and it's just really pretty. What else do we have here? This set of three, four dollars I think for the set. Yes, four dollars for the set. They're really lightweight. And I was just, my curiosity was piqued. It's giftware Japan, so it is old, but I don't know if it's just so hollow and thin that they're so light, but they're in really great condition, just some really minor chipping, and they're beautiful. The green with, uh, the green with the gold on them, I thought they were really nice, and then this is the third piece in the set. And I guess it would be a planter, but that's in really great condition as well, with the exception of some chipping, but you can turn it around and use it on that side. Picked up some books. Um, this one is Lost and Found, 50 cents for these vintage hardcover books. Uh, this one was... Um, 1947 it looks like it was no copyright 1955 I just love the images they're so cute and the spines of them just sitting on a shelf would be cute on their own um, and who knows maybe the stories inside are good too the images are sure cute and then a couple of storybooks this is parade of stories and there's a whole bunch of stories in one book here. This one was dated 1964. And again, the illustrations and lots of stories. The pictures aren't as detailed and pretty as in the Lost and Found book, but I just think the hardcover books like this are really pretty. This one would be great for a Halloween display. Actually, I'll just get my enamel cup from the cupboard. Wouldn't those two be cute together? Yes. So this one, it says $1 here, but we paid 50 cents. So this is the story hour. This one was a little older than the previous one. Oh no, I'm wrong. This is 1964 as well. And again, the illustrations aren't as colored as vivid but still really cute. I'm sure Eloise would love to sit down and be read a whole bunch of stories out of there. And then a couple more items here. Um, this is a Hawaii souvenir, $2 for this salt and pepper shaker. And they like, 
they stick into the holes. So th this one is corked from here because it's a barrel. Um, so yeah, one is salt and one is pepper. And this one is corked from the top here because it is a jug. And this cute little set caught my eye because of the cute painted guy and girl on here. This guy just looks like he's he's had enough. He's not very happy. Um, but he is the corkscrew and they are also salt and pepper shakers. He's actually the pepper. So maybe he's about to sneeze or maybe he's had maybe a little bit too much of sampling of what he's been opening. This is salt. I think it's so cute that the that the little uh, holes are shaped like the S and the P. And this is a bottle opener. And she's just perky and happy. She's just ready to go. He looks like he's had enough. Uh-huh. See, this is that Robinson store I was telling you about. An electric service bill oh. for a chime set. The doorbell. In 1986. The doorbell got serviced in 86. Okay. So this was a Seniors Day sale here? At Robinson's. Every third Thursday of the month was Senior Citizens Day. Except food, tobacco, and shop rate sale items. Oh my goodness. I would have loved to wander through that store. I initially thought it was just a clothing store because all the um, bags that I was finding had clothing items in them and... Um, the tags, like I was finding underwear and stuff with the tags Robinson's on them. But obviously they sold all kinds of stuff, including tobacco. We have gotten a whole garbage bag full of plastic bags, mostly. Out of those drawers, there's bags of bags. And then more bags of bags. And more. She did not throw, or they, um, I keep saying she, but they did not throw anything away. And we are finding really cool things. That's garbage. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. That's not garbage. This is garbage. This is like... No. That's garbage. No, no. A junk journaler would love that. A crafter would love that old paper. See, just the images alone on this hey, is you cute. Want to look at this. Somebody would love a white or a yellow. They paper. just might. We will not throw these throw, things away. Throw, throw away. This, this will probably throw away. Here we have a garbage bag in an envelope. Well, yes, why not? Isn't that the logical thing to do? Oy vey. <laughs> Yeah, so these are actually, you know, bags of bags that we are keeping. But there's bills and all kinds of stuff to go through in these drawers. Here's more Here's bags. another one of these. Yeah, I'm not sure what... Uh, this is the second one. It almost looks like... But it's like a different year. The other one said 88. This is... is. 87. It looks like they were keeping track of sales of something, doesn't it? Sure, I don't know. It's written in Ukrainian is what we're... Oh look, here's another one. Here. I don't know what it says. But yeah, so this is what we're talking about when we say there's like bundles of stuff. Literally bundles. They are tied up or in like this this is a bag wrapped up in bags um this is oh these are those pirate peanut butter cookies like seriously she didn't throw her her bag of empty peanut butter cookies out she folded it up and put it in the drawer nothing was thrown away here are some more letters and bills tied up back here what is this calendars here's your parliamentary report 
from the House of Commons, can we? Oh my. 1980. Who was sitting in the house in 1980? Uh, look, here's another catalog. And here I thought I had gone through all the catalogs. This is, it. ooh, this is the newest one. This is the newest one, 1989. That is definitely the newest one. I have not found one from the 90s yet. There are some phone books. Robin Hood. No sift recipes, breads and rolls. I like bread. Oh, I'll have to take this home. Here's a totem laid. Although Typhoon Frida went swept through Vancouver's Stanley Park in October 1962. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is. Isn't that when they lost a whole bunch of their big trees? That could be. That, that storm? This is 1962. In Stanley Park, I think so. Flake earrings for a Lenten dish. That one we can keep. Must have been clipped for a recipe. That one we're not keeping. Oh. That's bye, a piece of paper. Bye bye, aged piece of paper. Oh, what did you throw away? Don't, don't look. Oh, but it could be good. Ah. No, hey. No, was that, that recipes? No, it was a church list thing. A church list? Oh. Here, this one you can keep. Oh, you're letting me keep it? This one you can keep. This one's to make the most of your freezer. That's probably from the freezer that's in the porch. Maybe. Oh, what's this? It has holly on it. I want to know what that is. You're making a mess of all the stuff. Here. No, I'm not. You put that there, actually. These are placemats. Oh, my goodness. She kept placemats papers. from the restaurant. Why not take, you know, you paid for the meal. Why not take your placemat with you? Yeah. She's smart. Hey. Now, I will keep them. These and ones. sell them in a junk journal lot. Not these ones, you won't. Oh, it says Merry Christmas on it. Yeah. So it's written on. Yeah, that makes it even more special. A Christmas greeting. There's on more it. of them like that. That's sweet. All right, I guess you can keep that. Okay, thank you. Grocery list? Is this a recipe? Two. It's written in Ukrainian. Two, two, and then it says. Oh, well, maybe. This might actually be. I think these are some kind of recipes. Cool. Yeah, definitely hang on to that stuff. Do not throw that away. Give me that look. Hey, oh, what's what? Is this one of those Robinson bags? You have to keep it, because what did I tell you about the paper bags? Hunter's Lady Wear. There's a receipt in there. Another. Another clothing store in the little town, hey? Hunters, 1970. 893. She bought... Um, I don't know what that says. Handbag? Looks like handbag. 76 anyway. Wow. Don't that same bag? Yeah, sure. I forgot to show this little cutie. I found her in the Christmas section. She's got a little bunny by her feet. She's got a, a muff with holly on it. She's actually a candle holder. And I'm not sure what the marking was on there. But I just thought she was really cute. She's bisque. So she's got that kind of feel on your fingers that isn't really pleasant but she's really cute now we have literally gotten three full bags of bags and paper from these cupboards it was really packed in there and I've kept a lot uh, there's a few grocery bags going back of uh, bills and stuff that I don't want to put into 
a garbage necessarily, uh, like personal stuff that I want to grind up. Um, and I've got another bag of coupons and things that might be interesting as ephemera in there to take back home. And yeah, we found a few more catalogs as well. Another Eaton's gift book, 1980. It's in pristine condition. It was even in the envelope still. This one you've already seen. And uh, this Early's Farm and Garden. It was called Early Seed and Feed back in the day, but this is from 1978. A store in Saskatoon. And it's not even on that road anymore, so that might be cool for somebody. And then this Winnipeg phone book is really, it's a cool, might even be a really neat display piece because of the drawings on it. And this one is from 1970. So we'll see if that one will sell on eBay. If